Hey, in this adventure, I ride in the northwest corner of Arkansas. My dad and one of his brothers and I have taken two separate trips to Arkansas. We went to the northwest corner and the northeast corner. In 2023, we went to the northwest corner, and it's there I wanted to do some Dutch oven cooking. Now, for those of you who haven't done Dutch oven cooking, step one is to own a Dutch oven. So I went out and bought one, and the first thing I noticed is that the cast was, um, was pretty rough for the Ozark Trail Dutch oven. So I spent some time with a grinder to fix it. Maybe I made it better. The next step was to practice some recipes. I practiced a s'mores pie and a pot roast. Yum. It's also a good idea to have a shovel along, so I stuck one to the side of my Lumina trailer using Quick Fist that I bought on Amazon. An affiliate link is in the description. Now I'm ready to ride, or am I? My battery stopped holding charge, so I ordered one and installed it just in time to leave. My dad and I met up in East Memphis at a Love's truck stop where I-40 and I-55 meet. From there, we rode to Jasper, Arkansas to a bunker biker where we met up with my uncle. For supper, I made Tennessee Valley Jambalaya. The recipe can be found in the Lodge Cast Iron Cookbook. I woke up early to make the Mountain Man breakfast. I'm not sure where I got the recipe, probably online, but it's a fairly typical breakfast. It includes sausage, hash brown, egg, and cheese. With our bellies full, we head out on Arkansas's Grand Canyon ride. road signs in Arkansas I hadn't seen before. My favorite is crooked and steep. If you've seen other videos from this area or you've been in this area, you probably know you have to stop at the Oark General Store. There are a couple of ways to get there and of course we found the way with gravel. During lunch we asked around and learned what path to take that was paved so we can make it back to the Arkansas Grand Canyon ride from there, we looped over to the Pig Trail, and from there south to Turner Bend Campground, where we spent a wonderful night and a wonderful campground. On Sunday, we broke camp and Dad and I split with my uncle. My uncle headed north. We headed back toward Memphis. We had a little time, so we decided to take some back roads toward Memphis. It was there that the car in front of me revealed garbage right in the middle of the road, right where I was riding. It was a few minutes later, I got a flat. Uh, the flat was on my rear tire, and for those of you who have seen some of my other videos, you may know at this time, I was running a non-run flat car tire. Dad was riding behind me, and he said all of a sudden it looked like I was riding a bull. Um, I was able to safely get it off the road into someone's driveway. We disconnected the trailer, put it on the center stand, and I was able to plug the tire with my plug kit. Uh, if you don't bring a plug kit or an air compressor, Here's your public safety announcement to say, please bring a plug kit and an air compressor. Even if you don't have a car tire, that plug kit can help get you to a, a safer spot. Uh, definitely not recommended for motorcycle tires. That's one reason I, I do use a car tire. Uh, you can plug it and get down the road. I happened to plug it and rode a number of thousands of miles. Probably the thing that took the longest was putting the air back in the tire. I, I have a small compressor I carry with me. Uh, the guy who owned the, the driveway we were in was very nice. He, uh, he actually brought out some cold water for us as well. It was a, a nice warm October day there in Arkansas. And with the tire plugged, we made our way back, uh, got some lunch at a nice barbecue joint. I think it's Nick's Barbecue. The 2024 trip to the northeast corner had its own excitement, but that's for another adventure. So until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.